Hi kids, it's me, Mr. Hewitt. Um, I'm going to read you The Twit by Roald Dahl, uh, which many of you will know already because it's a classic, but it is worth revisiting because it is full of lots of useful information. And it has, I think, chapter four has got the best ever description of ugliness that I ever read anywhere and how it happens. And it might not be how you would expect. And chapter eight has got the best idea in any book ever written, not just children's book, any book ever written ever. So stick around for that at least. So here we go to begin. The Twits by Roald Dahl as read by me. Chapter one. What a lot of hairy faced men there are around nowadays. When a man grows hair all over his face, it's impossible to tell what he really looks like. Perhaps that's why he does it. He'd rather you didn't know. Then there's the problem of washing. When the very hairy ones wash their faces, it must be as big a job as when you and I wash the hair on our heads. So what I want to know is this. How often do all these hairy faced men wash their faces? Is it only once a week like us on Sunday nights? And do they shampoo it? Do they use a hairdryer? Do they rub hair tonic in it to stop their faces from going bald? Do they go to a barber to have their hairy faces cut and trimmed? Or do they do it themselves in front of the bathroom mirror with nail scissors? I don't know. But next time you see a man with a hairy face, which will probably be as soon as you step out onto the street, maybe you'll look at him more closely and start wondering about some of these things. Chapter two. Mr. Twit was one of these hairy, hairy faced men. The whole of his face, except for his forehead, his eyes and his nose, was covered with thick hair. The stuff even sprouted in revolting tufts out of his nostrils and ear holes. Mr. Twit felt that this hairiness made him look terrifically wise and grand. But in truth, he was neither of these things. Mr. Twit was a twit. He was born a twit. And now, at the age of 60, he was a bigger twit than ever. The hair on Mr. Twit's face didn't grow smooth and matted as it does on most hairy faced men. It grew in spikes that stuck out straight like the bristles of a nail brush. And how often did Mr. Twit wash this <laughs> And how often did Mr. Twit wash this bristly nail brushy face of his? The answer is never, not even on Sundays. He hadn't washed it for years. Chapter three. As you know, an ordinary unhairy face, like yours or mine, simply gets a bit smudgy if it's not washed often enough, and there's nothing so awful about that. But a hairy face is a very different matter. Things cling to hairs, especially food. Things like gravy go right in among the hairs and stay there. You and I can wipe our smooth faces with a flannel and we... I'll begin this chapter again, hang on. <laughs> 